speak to me. Nobody goes into that sacred place without performing the necessary rituals and comes out alive. Of course. The great and mighty Gunugunu has decreed that the said maiden must be presented to him as sacrifice. Is it not better I die in my mother's hut than to be taken to the evil forest for wild creatures to feast on? He is fully prepared to let this kingdom burn to ashes. There's nothing, absolutely nothing, anyone can do to make me sacrifice the love of my life. Other men will raise their children and their wives shall become widows. Great and mighty Guru Guru, my foot! Hey, shut up! If he fails to call himself to order, I will forget the very night I injected him and deal with him like a fool that he is. <laughs> Take me and spare the life of the king and everyone else in this kingdom. How can we continue to serve a messless god? Are you telling me you prefer that this kingdom should burn? Let it go, Father, and we are going to rebuild it from the ashes. I am the greatest hunter of this kingdom and beyond. I would rather stake my life to defend this household. If sacrificing the maiden is the only option we have to salvage this kingdom, then we must have to do it. If you truly love and care for me, you have to let me go. Huh? Just forget about me. Never. That I will never do. And after today, calamity will descend this land. We must sacrifice her to our almighty great Guru Guru. Yes. Oh, you think you have succeeded? No woman is allowed to enter that evil shrine. People of Banajuma, your kingdom, beware!